Good day. So we have here our car washing machine, which is a supported board, and it's lying around the garage for around a couple of years now. So the board is missing. I already removed the board. I'm looking for a replacement board for this type of fully automated washing machine. So I found later on that there is a universal washing machine board that we can use in this old washing machine. So it has, along with it, a panel board. Okay. This is the motherboard and this is the panel board. We will not be using the old panel board because we have a different ready schematic diagram or a different fully automated washing machine board. Okay. Of course, first things first, we need to clean up the washing machine before we fully, uh, fully fix the washing machine. wiping out it first with the soap and second with a clean washcloth. So take you around with the washing machine. Okay, this is the washing machine. Okay, so at the back, the back portion we can see the electrical illustration or what we call the wiring diagram. <coughs> okay now, here are the things that we need. We need the schematic diagram, the illustration at the back, so we printed it out. We need the connector, so we'll be cutting out the wires and replacing with a new connector that is suitable for the new board so we have your board <coughs> and we have your uh, bonus water switch okay it is provided with the board as we purchase it we need here screwdrivers we have the Philips screwdrivers and the slotted screwdriver and also a wire stripper and a cutter and sometimes we also need together with the long nose pliers to hold the wire when we are stripping. And also provided in the box of this uh, <coughs> universal board is its own schematic diagram. So now we will be performing wire splicing. Okay, so here we are as we finally find it now we find that this number seven which is a switch of water level is not actually a red wire but a blue one and the switch of the of the door the door switch is both color red as you can see in the actual okay we move the camera and so you can see so this is the switch, okay. the switch, the door switch, as you open the door, there would, be ha there would have no continuity, and when you close the door, there would be have a continuity. And this is the water level switch, okay. this is the water level, they are both color blue, and as we look in, into the connector, so the three connector, as you can see is number nine. Number nine. Okay. Number nine is the electronic program controller. So it's the board. It's just like this, but the board is already gone and missing. So it's color. It's color white and color blue. So this is the blue. This is the white. But as you can see, it has red and blue and blue but here we have just both blue wires and here we have both both red wires okay so what's our interpretation okay. and we have here 
the power source this is connected to the mains actually connected to our mains and the purple one is connected to our motor okay it's connected to our motor and our assembly capacitor and the orange and red is the connector of the drain and number and the incoming water valve okay so this is the incoming water valve okay. so what we're going to do we're going to remove the wiring so we can have all the wiring the problem is we have your uh, the new new board we have uh, we have two uh, two wires connector for the door and we have three wires connected to the water level sensor Okay, so what we're going to do is remove this electric tape coating the wire. now we have here the red and the light blue or the red and the light blue which is the so this this line is our drain motor okay we have here the water level sensor and the door switch and the orange is the water inlet bulb so water inlet bulb and we have here now the our main source so the configuration of the washing machine our drain tractors we don't have a tow it's just drain in a common or drain and a zero and our water level sensor as you can see here we have we have just the two wires the two blue wires this is our water level or in case we can use the water level sensor provided by the the universal water board so we can use the water level only two levels is either the low or the high so this water level is sensing high or low water level sensors <clears throat> so now we would we are gonna place the end connector the terminals okay so the female terminal at the end of the wires see we are not going to solder them so uh, so that we can have a very easy troubleshooting in the near future okay so we'll now open this
Fixing it up.
Okay.